Hi, this week I want to show you a project I've been working for some time now. I'm talking about a device that shows in a little LCD display the distance to the nearest object it can find, usually the floor, the ceiling and two walls. So it can be so helpful to hand a picture, a shell at points or even calculate the area of the entire wall. I have chosen to use cheap materials because I don't really need high precision and like almost always I'm doing it for fun. So I think you can buy all the electronics for less than 15 bucks on eBay. I tried to record a demonstration on the wall but it, it was so complicated to show it and record it at the same time. So I made this frame you can see over my table. It has four problems. The first one measures the distance from up, down, left and right to the hole, the center of the device. When you chose the second program, all the measurements rested to zero and it will stop measuring from that point. In this case, I'm making a mark 10 centimeters away from the first one. The number 3 does not measure from the hole, but from the opposite side of the device. It can be useful if you want to know, for example, the distance from two walls, or the height of the ceiling. The last one calculates the area. If you place it in a corner, it will show you the total area of the wall. In this case, the number you can see on the right. Ok, let's see how you can make your own. If you have a different idea for the design of the box, you can avoid this part and go directly to the electronics. Tilt the disc 45 degrees and cut 4 pieces for the frame. Drill the holes for the sensors and for the USB cable and use a chisel to adapt the place for the connector. You can use a little bit of fabric to make sure they fit exactly in the middle and mark with the drill. Remove the remains of the glue and check if it is squared. Cut the base and cover and use a hand plane if needed. Mark and drill the holes for the bottoms, the screws and the bubble which is recycled from a cheap spirit level.
with the 3D router mag to hold for the display. glue and screw a little block of plywood to hold the steel pipe. We can apply now the varnish. Three coats of lacquer in my case. And between them you can use transfer paper to write the names of the buttons. Now we can go with the electronics. I have used a breakboard to make sure all the stuff worked. And now we can keep going. With a perforated board I made a shield for the Arduino with a little circuit. You can actually do it without it, but this way it will save us a lot of wires and the result will be cleaner. To make it lower I move the plastic part of the pins to the end and solder them from below. To connect the display I had used a female pin header connector like this one. You'll probably have to solder the pins of the display depending on where you bought it. These female connectors can be so useful if you don't want to solder the sensors. Solder the potentiometer, the resistors and the rest of the cables and you can assemble it. I didn't have screws as small as the holes of the ultrasonic sensor, so we had to use a drill to make the holes bigger. With a little plastic pipe you can make these little spacers. Now assemble the buttons and the level. The Arduino with the board and the display and all the wires following the schematic. Bend a little plate and screw it to the base to hold the battery. And finally, you can use a little piece of beaver to avoid scratching the base or the wall. 